The 24-year-old was playing in his first competitive final for the Blues against Manchester City at Wembley when he hit the headlines for all the wrong reasons. With just minutes to go at the end of extra time, Maurizio Sarri prepared Willy Caballero to come on as substitute. The youngster had just gone down with cramp, and it appeared that he was unable to continue. However, he refused to come off despite being told to do so by Sarri and assistant manager Gianfranco Zola, while David Lewis had to come over and talk to him. Kipa was seen gesturing at the bench and waving his finger as he defied his boss's wishes. Sari was incensed by the move and slammed a water bottle on his seat before storming down the tunnel. He turned around again but didn't calm down and continued shouting at the goalkeeper. Chelsea went on to lose the penalty shootout 4-3 as Raheem Sterling hammered the deciding spot kick into the top corner. Afterwards, Sarri insisted that the incident was simply a misunderstanding and played down the meaning of Keepa's actions. But late on Monday, it was announced by the club that he had been fined a week's wages. In response, Kipa apologized whilst admitting he made a mistake. I was very happy to play in my first cup final for Chelsea yesterday and very proud of the team performance," he said in a statement. I have thought a lot more about yesterday's events. Although there was a misunderstanding, on reflection, I made a big mistake with how I handled the situation. I wanted to take the time today to apologize fully and in person to the coach, to Willie, my teammates, and to the club. I have done this and now I want to offer the same apology to the fans. I will learn from this episode and will accept any punishment or discipline the club decides is appropriate.